Ever wondered why some people lose hearing from an ear infection while others lose it permanently with age? Today, we're breaking down the difference between conduction deafness and nerve deafness. Let's dive in. Conduction deafness happens when sound can't reach the inner ear properly. It's usually caused by problems in the outer or middle ear, like earwax blockage, fluid buildup from infections, a perforated eardrum, or damaged ossicles, those tiny bones that transmit sound. The good news? Conduction deafness is often temporary and can be treated with medication, surgery, or hearing aids. Nerve deafness, also known as sensorineural hearing loss, affects the inner ear or the auditory nerve. This is where sound is converted into electrical signals for your brain. Causes include aging, presbycusis, noise exposure, genetic factors, and inner ear damage or nerve issues. Unlike conduction deafness, nerve deafness is usually permanent, but hearing aids or cochlear implants can help manage it. Let's compare. Conduction. Deafness. Problem with sound transmission. Often treatable. Nerve deafness. Problem with sound processing. Usually permanent but manageable. Knowing the type of hearing loss can make a big difference in treatment. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who might benefit. And let us know in the comments. Did you learn something new today?